Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're not on P3D today. Uh, as you've probably known by the title and the thumbnail, uh, this is a tutorial on how to install Tomato Shade. Um, a lot of people have been asking this. I did do a poll uh, for those who are subscribed. Uh, you saw the poll. I asked if we wanted to see a tutorial on how to install Tomato Shade as well as the reflection profiles. Uh, so I finally uh, had the time to make it. What you're looking at right now is not normally what you would look at uh, normally for tutorials to show my desktop and it's very boring even though the screenshots on there are actually pretty nice one well, of the screenshots are like photos uh, of lovely graphics cards and uh, computer for components whatever this is my website uh, it isn't actually like properly published at the time of recording um, as soon as this video has been like out I don't know if I've already announced my website or something but this is my website it's finished as you can see it's powered by Weebly Webly I don't know how to say that I think it's Weebly um, I haven't actually got myself the pro version, which is actually had to pay for, which is why you can see it um, down there. But anyway, that doesn't really that doesn't really bother me when someone starts doing that, and then that's kind of annoying. Um, this is my website. There's a lot of stuff on here. Um, you can check out some stuff about me, uh, what sim I use, and uh, add-ons, um, GSX level two download configs um, so Aerosoft Heatho Professional coming soon as well as Fly Tampa Amsterdam and um, I know what's their name Airport to Sin have made Fly Tampa Amsterdam but you had to pay for that uh, so I went out of my way to make some of that so you guys can get that for free and that, to be honest it's very good quality <laughs> and uh, I'd be really grateful if you guys could donate um, but anyway that's not needed that's not required I guess anyway what we're here for is the tomato shade. Um, so these are the profiles I've made for it. I've done and finished up the PMDG 737 reflection profile. You can see there, there's a United 737 uh, 900, 800, I don't know, uh, at San Francisco in the light and uh, lovely reflections. I've got a quick tutorial on how to install the reflection profile uh, on here, but some people might find that a bit uh, hard to follow. Uh, if you like me and you'd like to follow videos basically uh, the reason why I'm on my website is on the add-ons page there's a tomato shade uh, section you just click that and I'll download it tomato shade will download and this is the up-to-date version of tomato shade every time I will update I'll get the um, I'll update this onto the website so it'll pretty much be updated all the time this latest version at the time of recording I don't know if there's gonna be one coming out anytime soon until like P3D version 4.5. Uh, there we go, it's just downloaded. And uh, let's go open it up, go back to the desktop. Okay, now it's downloaded. As you can see, there it is on the top left with amazing Asus City Photoshop, I guess you could say. <laughs> and what you have to do is literally unzip it first. So I've just got, I've got WinRAR, uh, which is really, really recommended. If you don't have it, definitely get it. Uh, it is an amazing like application for zipped uh, files and pretty much what I'm going to do is extract to tomato shade folder that would just make a new tomato shade folder on like the same like folder or desktop wherever you're in once extracted this is what it looks like just got an assets folder which you don't have to look at at all it's just assets stuff whatever profiles uh, these are all your aircraft profiles so what comes with this uh, with tomato shade it's all of these are uh, profiles. Um, so you've got A to A stuff. Uh, you've got some default um, F22 and F35s. Uh, you've got a lot of MD80 and other lots of stuff like FS Labs and PMDG. Obviously now with the latest Quality Wings update, um, that doesn't actually have to be there. So you can delete it. You don't have to delete it. it doesn't really matter. But that doesn't. Neither actually as well as the uh, 747. All of these 747s can just go away, like so. Anyway, right, pretty much because of the new PBR update. Uh, if an aircraft's got PBR, it does not need a reflection profile from Tomato Shade. Um, so bear that in mind. If, uh, if you're trying to assign a reflection profile, which you'll see in my next tutorial video, um, and it won't work, it's probably because either profile is out of date uh, or the latest aircraft model or the aircraft has now got PBR so just go double check before you uh, 
get too scared it's not working. So those are all the profiles and tomato, this is just all the presets for tomato shade. Uh, I'm going to bring over the R&D preset. So here's the R&D website. I'm pretty sure they might use Weebly as well, or Webly, because um, of the, like, the setup and everything, whatever. Uh, this is the R&D. They do tomato shade stuff, they do PTA stuff and everything, um, and reflection profiles, which I'll talk about in the next video. Uh, anyway, we're expecting, we are looking for a tomato shade preset. Uh, this tomato preset is very, very good. You can see some screenshots they've given us here. Uh, of the preset and it is absolutely gorgeous. I really recommend the R&D preset. It's amazing. What you have to do, click download. That'll download the f uh, another zip file which you have to unzip of course. Okay, I've downloaded and extracted it uh, as you can see here. Double click it. Um, this is what is inside. Uh, it's got FTX Global light settings. If you use the lights uh, from FTX Global, uh, these are their recommended settings. Uh, for FTX Global uh, Lights, if you have that uh, uh, add-on, it's free if you have FTX Global Base or whatever, so highly recommended if you didn't have like black marble. Uh, and also it's got Rec Sky Force settings that they recommend. Um, so you, if you have Rec Sky Force, really recommend to use these settings as well. Um, I've also got my own little settings on uh, my settings link in the description if you want to use those. but. If you use the R&D preset, this also works as well. Um, mine is very similar to this. Anyway, got a readme. Don't worry about that because we're doing the tutorial. And this is the actual any, uh, which is a preset folder. If bring open Tomato Shade again. Go back to Tomato, and you literally just uh, copy this. Uh, let's copy. There we go, and paste it. Oh, let's paste. I know it is uh, the keyboard to do shortcuts into the Tomato folder. There it is, it's now, what I, the reason why I'm doing this is everything to do with Tomato Shade is all in one big folder, which is really cool. Uh, not cool, really useful so to find everything. So Tomato is the presets and of course profiles of the aircraft profiles. Now that's in there, we can go and run Tomato Shade. Uh, go run, as I said before, I did say it is on the latest version. So if we do go to check for new version, check for updates, obviously there's not a latest, but, um, we have the latest version, sorry. Okay, we need to install the preset. Uh, as you can see, everything like on these tabs is all empty, nothing's ticked, nothing is set, and they're all on zero or default, whatever, uh, as you can see. So we need to go in and install this preset onto the application that open up, I guess you could say. So obviously good file, open, and obviously tomato shade will open up the tomato folder, which is why it's really useful. So you just put it in there and, and then do R and D uh, tomato shade preset. Uh, we're going to open it up. You can see it's given straight up to uh, preset comment. It's shown HDR options. I do use these options. I think I use this one. Um, actually, no, I don't, don't. Don't listen to me. I do use this one. Uh, I got Bloom on 0.1. Brightness is a little bit higher than normal. Um, I do use this one. If you guys want to mind, if you want to look at just like mine. Um, and you can see we go back in here, and now you can see a lot of these are ticked off. They've been edited and everything. So that's that. This is not yet installed into your simulator. So do not close down Tomato Shade now. We've still got one more thing to do. Uh, to go to click Actions and you click Apply Preset. You can, obviously, you can just click F9 if you want, uh, as it does say there. But you can just click that, Apply. It's going to scan for aircraft. Uh, that is the aircraft that is in the sim, which is for the reflections profiles. There we go. If everything has went good, uh, it does say apply complete so now if you're having some trouble uh, this is this part of the video uh, with tomato shade and it doesn't say complete and there's an error the most likely thing is either you haven't downloaded the latest version so if you haven't got tomato shade from my website that is one option or you have PTA or another like uh, uh, shader mod thingamajiggy that probably has not put the default shaders back into the sim. So make sure your sim has default shaders when you apply this, because otherwise tomato shade will not work and it won't install the new shaders. So make sure you have default shaders installed. Um, and sometimes there's ultimate realism pack can mess up an aircraft. So make sure ultimate realism pack isn't in the sim. You don't need that anymore because you've got tomato shade. Uh, so if it's not working, if you, have, if you tried all those three points, comment down below and I will try and help you out. 
That's Tomato Shade installed. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.